Hi, this is Shelley Letwin from GV Design Canada, and we've got another video here for some new tools on Matrix 8. Uh, this one I'm going to talk about gem springs. Okay, so how did we start off here? Here's a ribbon that I actually found in our T spline section. So here's our library in T spines, and the guys have made up some great little animals, some ribbons, some settings. So I grabbed the ribbon. And then in our heads up display in T splines, I was able to convert that T spine model into a rhino surface. Once I did that, I went into curves and then I extracted ISO curves just to get our lines on the surface, split it, and then I was able to uh, separate this blue surface from the green. And then last but not least, I went into gems and I went to auto pave builder. We'll do another video on this another day on how it works to lay out our gemstones. So gem springs, this is a tool we're going to talk about. It is not new to the program, but some of the there are some new tools to it which makes it uh super cool to use. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to raise this up. And we've got two boxes here, so you can see I did a practice run, so I'm just going to select uh, the surface and drop it in the surface box. And then we'll right click on gem 03 to grab all the gems and put them in our gem box. And you'll notice here that our gems have now changed from that light blue to a darker blue, and there's a dot right where the culet is. So if we want to move these stones around, I just have to click on a dot and notice how everybody it's the uh, everybody moves together so the neighbors are kind of shifting into position as you move one now notice as I stop uh, moving one it goes yellow and then if I want to notice I it, it's going to stay exactly where I leave it so that's going to come in handy as you start using this tool that it's going to stay in place I'm just going to hold down shift and just move this over. So this little guy here, we can move these guys around and get them into the location that we want. Okay, now what else is with this tool here? If you notice over here on the left hand side, we've got shift to resize, we've got alt to add or remove, and then control to unlock. So if I wanted to unlock these gems, because they're stationary, if I hold down control, now I can move this guy and notice that everybody's, you know, the neighbors are moving as well to try to maintain um, a distance between them. Okay, so this guy's a little big, so if I hold down shift, let's grab this guy and we can size that and place it in position. If I want to, I can hold down um, alt and remove that guy if we wanted to. And then if I wanted to put a new one in here, I hold down Alt, and I click. And there's a nice little new little gem there in that position. It's really, really a nice tool, especially if you're doing any kind of pave in an irregular shape that I have here. And you've got, you know, an engage, or a wedding band and everything symmetrical. You can use um, multi gem on curve. That'll be another video, and use that tool to lay everybody out in nice rows. But when it's something like this with an irregular surface, and you've got to use um, different size gemstones to get a nice fit, you can see here this is setter is not going to be happy with that one here. So we'll have to make that guy a little smaller for the setter to be able to set this. So again, I'm holding down shift. Oops, come on. Hold down shift and scale this down. Okay, so that is gem springs and how it works. I just have to press enter and then you've got the gems back looking the way they should be. I'll spend some more time on this, but again, uh, we're GV Design Canada. We do classes in Toronto and online. Thanks for watching.